Um, Coach, can you talk about uh, your wide receivers? There's been a, you know, obviously a lot of talk about depth and you know who's emerging and whatnot. But how, what did you see today? Uh, well, you, you're, you're seeing uh, some younger guys getting uh, more reps than they probably uh, would. You know, we we, we have a. Um, couple guys that you know are coming back from some hamstring injuries uh, so we had some new guys young guys get a lot more reps and and uh, it, it was needed to see them get some reps in the live work I think that uh, um, we need to get better uh, at, at winning individual battles uh, you know we didn't do a, a, a bad job catching the ball as a wide receiver group uh, but I'd like to see us uh, get more contested catches catch more contested balls when you talk about depth, and I know that you, you're a guy who believes in competition. We've talked yeah. about that in the past. Do you like the competition that you have? Do you see guys pushing other guys? Well, right now we almost don't have, you know, our, our numbers a little bit right now are, uh, you know, some guys out are, are we're not having as much competition uh, as I would like. But what's happening right now is some, some guys are getting a lot of reps right now that might not normally and it's going to be good because it's going to pay, pay off in, in the future. So when you talk about young guys, yeah. do you foresee young guys getting reps in, in game for yeah, weeks? A absolutely. I, th I do think that they will get some reps. Um, it's just that they're getting a lot thrown at them, a, a, a lot thrown at them right now, a lot, and, and which normally they would have a little bit more of an easier transition than what they're having currently. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I think right now it may seem like a, a, a bad thing, but in the long run, I think it'll be a good thing. Um, and <laughs> and real quick, um, talk about the, actually catching the football. Um, a guy like Kenrick Young is a guy who struggled at times last year to actually catch the football. Have you seen guys like Kenrick? Have they developed and gotten better year to year? Yeah, you know, some, some, some you know, there's no. Um, you could teach a guy how where to put his hands, how to place his hands, and things like that. Uh, but you can't actually teach him how to truly catch. And so some of the whole catching philosophy behind catching is, is uh, mental. And I think when guys get more comfortable with how they will be when the ball is coming at them, then they can expect it and be less reactive and more of just natural. And so, uh, yeah, Kendrick's done a decent job. You know, we do a catch chart uh, every practice um, that is a culmination of, of all uh, fall camp. And um, our catch percentage, our catch, catchable balls, is right about 88% right now. Um, uh, you know, ideally, I'd like to be around 92, 94, so that it's a little bit higher than 9 out of 10 balls that are catchable we are um, we are catching my biggest deal is is um, winning the individual battles you know there's some there's some big opportunities today versus man to man where at times we succeeded and at times we did not and, and that to me is more of a glaring issue uh, than just catching the ball um, Corey Butler yeah is a big talk right conversation mm -hmm. have you seen enough to know what he can give you at wide receiver yeah, he can definitely give you, you, you a burst. He catches. He, he's a natural guy, almost too natural. And what I mean by that is, he's, uh, you know, up, uh, his past has been high school and JC, where a lot of uh, that type of scheme was, go run out there as fast as you can, we'll get you the ball. <laughs> yeah. Or run here, just run past him, go, we'll get you the ball. Well, this is the Pac-12. This is the best conference in the country, and there are going to be other guys that are just like you and so uh, I think part that he's really having to grasp was a little bit harder than what he thought is the uh, details of running routes and being able to win against a guy who's just like you. Delshaw McClellan when I say his name when he, where, where does he fit in your offense do you think and is he a guy that you're going to count on to contribute? Uh, we'll see time will tell uh, he has he definitely has a battle uh, ahead of him uh, the one thing with Dalshawn that you will see, you'll see it's kind of like a thunderstorm. Um, you will see that lightning bolt, and you're like, whoa. But then you'll sit, and you'll wait, and wait, and wait, and you won't see another lightning bolt. You might just hear nothing but thunder. Yeah. And so um, that's, where, that's where he needs to improve on is consistently providing the lightning.
Sweet. Thanks, Coach. Right. Appreciate it. Right. Good to see you again. Thanks. Thanks. Coach, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. Go ahead. You got a minute. 